Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Wild Bill Kelso 194 and today I have a World of Warships video prepared for everybody. Um, we're this, today we're going to be reviewing the USS South Carolina. This is a tier 3 American battleship and it's an okay battleship. It's not the greatest in my opinion, but you know when you use it correctly, it, it does its job. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the armor layout of this. Um, the armor layout is what you pretty much expect from a tier 3 uh, battleship. The, the um, let's, what is this? Let's see. The armor thickness of the 4N plating is 16 millimeters, and the Citadel plating is 19 millimeters of armor. Um, so, you know, if it's pretty much guaranteed to be penetrated if you're going to get torqued uh, by a destroyer or cruiser. The 4N armor belt plate is 38 millimeters, so it's a little bit better. Um, but still, if somebody get, does the right shot, and of course the Citadel armor belt, that's, you know, some of the thickest armor on the ship, that's 305 millimeters of armor plating right there, so that, that if, unless you're sailing broadside on, that's going to be tough to uh, punch through um, from an enemy battleship. The armor belt in the middle is actually a little thinner, it's 279 millimeters, as opposed to along the sides of the armor belt plate. Um, up above, it's actually thinner, it's 254 millimeters uh, than below. Um, so as the higher up you go, the plating starts to get thinner. Um, the plating uh, along the sides, along the superstructure is 19 millimeters. You know, as you get up onto the top of the deck, the decks right there where the uh, secondary batteries are. The end deck is 16 millimeters. Of course, the deck is all 16 millimeters. That's, that's nothing. That's just going to be punched right through no matter what gets fired at it. Um, the aft end deck is 16 millimeters. Basically, all the deck uh, plating is 16 millimeters. Uh, the the barbettes are actually pretty good. They're 254 millimeters of armor. Um, that's for the things that the turrets are mounted on. And the turret armor is 203 millimeters uh, along the sides, which is pretty okay. The superstructure is that's nothing. It's paper thin. It's 10 millimeters uh, of armor right there. So that that that's pretty much nothing it's guaranteed to be uh, penetrated uh, by high explosive or even um, armor piercing uh, the aft end armor belt it's 25 millimeters the bottom and on the bottom it's 25 millimeters um, so and when you look up uh, let's get out of that real quick uh, sorry I'm st sorry my voice is not the best right now I'm sort of drawing a blank <laughs> it's one of those days the main battery is actually not bad it's 305 millimeter uh, guns uh, and the secondary batteries are 76.2 millimeter guns um, the firing range is okay it's 15.7 kilometers um, so it's outclassed certainly by other tier 3 battleships um, which is one of this uh, ship which is one of this battleships uh, drawbacks um, so, but you have four turrets and that makes a total of eight uh, 305 millimeter guns um, and you have the secondary batteries, of course, which is the 76.2 millimeter guns. Uh, and you have a, a couple, I'm not sure the exact numbers. Oh, you get 20. You get uh, 20 uh, of those secondary uh, guns on this ship. Um, so, yeah, overall, th this battleship really, um, if, if you use it correctly, it's not that bad. Um, but, as I said before, it is outclassed by other battleships, and if you're going up against um, a higher tier battleships or, you know, other battleships of the same tier that are also superior to you, you've got to know what you're doing. Um, otherwise, you, you will definitely get uh, your ass handed to you uh, in, in a battle. So, right now, um, overall, I, I, not really, I don't really play the ship as much as I do the other uh, tier three battleships or the cruisers so basically it's you know it is what it is um, I'm not all that impressed uh, with it um, I understand a lot of people like it and you know that's your own opinion me I'm just there are other better um, battleships that you can play with at tier three uh, in my opinion than the South Carolina um, but if you're good at you know playing World of Warships and you're good at playing at with battleships, then the South Carolina you could definitely make it work for you. Um, so let's go ahead and see how this uh, ship handles uh, when you're actually in a, in a battle.
Right, so here we are. Um, this is actually one of those battles that actually is one for uh, the memory book, for the scrapbook. Um, if, if you could ever have a bigger screw-up at the very end of a battle, this is the one to have, um, or not to have, I should say. So when you look at this, the, the, this battle itself, you have seven destroyers on each team, three cruisers, and two battleships. Yeah. Seven destroyers. So right off the bat, you should know when you're playing a battleship, um, it doesn't matter if it's at South Carolina or any battleship, when you have that many destroyers on both teams, you got to hang out in the back. Um, don't go charging head-on into the thick of the fight as if you're a destroyer. J just don't do that. You're, you might as well hang a sign on yourself that says, Sink me now, please. Um, let's see, we'll get, pop off some shots at that enemy cruiser. Um, but, yeah, don't go charging head-on. Just hang out in the back and pop off as many salvos as you can at whatever enemy ships are in range of your guns. Um, because uh, this is a battleship. It's not a destroyer. It's not very manu It's not as maneuverable as a destroyer, not as fast as a destroyer. You know, it's it's slow, and it's... It drags when, when you try to turn, so that's with all battleships. So you definitely want to hang out in the rear, and as I said before, I keep repeating myself, I know, but just hang out in the rear and shoot at whatever ships come into range of your guns. So, and especially, you're going to see an example of why you shouldn't go charging head-on into a, a battle such as this when you're at a battleship. Um, as you can see, the battleship on my team, he's doing exactly what you shouldn't be doing in a game such as this and charging straight on into the enemy team because you're just going to get flanked by the enemy destroyers and you're going to get torpedoed and, and sunk right off the bat. So just don't do it. Um, see, so yeah, overall, we so far in this battle, we've lost to one destroyer. Um, you know, right now, it's not a bad thing, but we definitely want to pick up the pace a little bit and start dishing it out to the enemy team. Um, oh, God. It's just, that battleship is just setting himself up for disaster. And we're going to, popping up, oop, that enemy battleship's rear end is sticking out from behind that island and trying to score some hits. We scored four hits, but we didn't do a lot of damage to him. Um, and now he's returning the favor. <laughs> Oops. We did about, he did more damage to me than I did to him. Um, but he's firing high explosive and I'm firing armor piercing. So, yeah. There's, oh, there's two enemy cruisers over there. Um, let's see if we can cause some damage and see if we can get our the battleship on our team on my hand. Because right now he is not in a good spot. And I don't even think he realizes um, that, that he's not in a good uh, position right now. Because right now you can see he's just getting mauled by those enemy cruisers and pretty soon those enemy destroyers are also going to be start firing torpedoes and also possibly their guns at him as well you see he's just right in their crosshairs and you that is one place you do not want to be when you're a battleship and here comes another enemy cruiser let's see if we can score some hits on him and bingo my first kill of the game uh, managed to sink an enemy cruiser score two citadels and we sunk him so that that should help to pick up the pace and help my team uh win this match uh, oof, oof. yeah you see that is why you do not go head on into the enemy team when you're in a battleship and you see that that's what happens you lose over half of your health he's lucky he didn't get sunk i mean when you when you look look at that he's lucky he just didn't get a full salvo of torpedoes into his hull and sunk right off the bat. So that's why you do what I do and you stay in the rear with the gear and just basically try to sink whatever ships are in your or in your sights. So right now the team is my team's doing pretty good. We sunk three enemy ships and we're currently in the lead. Um oh careful we don't want to maneuver into those islands. One thing you don't want to do when you're in a battleship and you're facing a bunch of destroyers is be around islands and sail around islands. That's not a good idea because the, the enemy destroyers can just, you know, try to flank you and they will do that and they will sink you as a result. So you don't want to do that. Excuse me. 
Um, so, right now, oh, we just lost another ship. That was our battleship. <laughs> we, that That is why you... I've said it multiple times, and I'm going to keep saying it. Don't go head-on into the enemy team if you're in a battleship. Just don't do it. And right now... And the reason why you don't do that is not only because of what happened to him, but also now what's happening to me. I now have two enemy destroyers barking up my rear end, and I need to put as much distance as I can between them and myself. Because they have torpedoes, I don't, and battleships, when you get taken, when you get flanked by a destroyer and he fires your tor tor his torpedoes at you, you might as well stick your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. That's pretty much what you should do because that that is one position you don't want to be in. And for some reason, um, I don't know why my secondary batteries aren't working right now. Um, I guess it's just they're just out of range. And you see, um, you see that's the reason why I'm trying to put as much distance as what you just saw right there. Um, they're firing torpedoes at me, and I just don't want to be in range of their torpedoes. So you want to pop off be in range of their torpedoes and I'm just trying to sink this guy who's still coming after me. It's clear that he wants to sink me. Um, he, he, he's, he wants to be that guy, that destroyer that takes on a battleship all by myself, all by himself, and sink in any battleship, you know, with his torpedoes. And, you know, that's something that I do all the time when I play in destroyers, but when I'm in a battleship, I don't want that to happen. And I'm firing my guns trying to, you know, sink him before he sinks me. And thankfully, I'm able to keep enough distance between the two of us that his torpedoes are pretty much ineffective. They they, they run out of they I'm out of his out of his torpedo range. So and right now I've got back into the into the basically the cover of my team. My the crew uh, allied cruiser on my team came to my assistance. And whoa, that is one big wall of torpedoes he just managed to avoid. Um, and thankfully, I. And positioned myself that I'm able to avoid getting <laughs> um, torped myself. So right now we have a, a two-ship lead. I have six ships on my team, and the enemy team has four ships on theirs. And see what we cross. Ah, sixteen twenty damage. Not that much. Um, so basically we have a lead, um, but as all things in these games, you know, the unexpected happens, and you could find yourself losing in the blink of an eye and you don't even realize what what the hell happened so we're gonna pop off some more shots uh, nah, that was just a complete mess that was a waste of uh, ammunition right there we got that enemy cruiser he's being dealt with by the or the destroyer on my team so right now the enemy team has three destroyers and one cruiser my team has four destroyers one cruiser and myself as the battleship so right now, we're doing pretty good. Um, we want to keep that lead. We don't want to give them... Oh, make that four ships on my team and four ships on their team. They just sunk that cru our cruiser and another one of our destroyers. So this isn't good. We want to we want to level the playing field and gain the advantage on the enemy team here. So right now, I'm going to pull a hard left and try to you know, get some shots and try to sink one of their destroyers that destroyer right there, uh, but as you're going to see, I'm not really that successful in doing that. I only scored 810 damage uh, on that on that shot, um, but this is, just wait and see. I know it's going to drag a little bit right now, but it's going to be well worth the wait to watch. Um, so now my team is losing. Um, it's just me and one other destroyer, so there's two left on the team, well, technically two, um, but that destroyer on my team who's still alive he hasn't done anything. He's just been sitting there. So I don't know. He must be using the bathroom or cooking dinner or something. I, I really don't know what he's doing. He's just been sitting there the whole time and done nothing. So in, in reality, it's just me left on the team against three enemy destroyers. And I've got one in my sights right now. I don't know where the other two are right now, but I've got that one. And I don't know who he's going after. Is he going to try to get the free kill and take out that destroyer on my team? Or is he going to come after me? He's pointing his nose towards me, so I guess he's going to try to come after and sink me. Um, I can't let that happen. Uh, we're not going to let that happen. So we're going to try to swing my ass around, fire off some shots, and get some shots into him. Oh, we managed to score, again, 810 damage. Pathetic. One rule of thumb, when you're fighting against destroyers on a battleship, don't use armor piercing. 
Um, I wasn't paying attention while I was playing this round. I just kept firing armor piercing, armor piercing. When in reality, now that I'm fighting destroyers, I should be firing high explosive. The reason why is because armor piercing will just go right through a destroyer and won't do much damage. You want the high explosive, uh, and that'll cause a large, greater amount of damage uh, to destroyers when you're in a battleship. Um, and you'll see in the, the comments, why are you firing armor piercing? You should be firing uh, high explosive, not AP. So, <laughs> yeah, th I, that's one mistake I made, and that actually set myself up uh, for disaster. And another thing, as you're, they're pointing out in the comments right now, that you see, don't hide from, the, from enemy destroyers by going around islands. They will just flank you and pump your side full of torpedoes. And as a matter of fact, you got that one destroyer. He's reversing. I guess he's trying to get his torpedoes on me. Nope. I <laughs> got, a, got a second kill. Took out that destroyer. He did try to. He fired his torpedoes, but I managed to uh, evade them. Um, that's why he was reversing. But I got the jump on him before he could get the jump on me. And now we've got two ships left. They still haven't sunk that destroyer on my team that's just been sitting there. So now we got two on my team and two on their team. And that that's actually about to be one versus two. They're about to sink the destroyer on my team, and that was just a miss. Yep, they just sunk it with their tor that with that that destroyer just sunk the destroyer on my team with his torpedoes. So now it's two against two destroyers against one battleship. This should be interesting, and this is where it does get interesting because now I'm going to try to avoid him trying to shoot uh, me with his torpedoes. So I'm just going to turn head on towards him. And just start pumping round after round of shells into him to see if I could sink him before he could sink me. And as you can see in the comments, they're saying, why are you shooting AP? Don't shoot AP. You should be shooting high explosive instead of armor piercing. Yeah, I know. Put a dunce cap on my head and just, you know, get on with your life. Um, so, yep, they're starting to fire torpedoes at me. And I need to avoid those as best I can. So the best way to do that is just charge head on at them and keep your nose point your the bow of your ship pointed directly at them as much as you can because that you that will allow you to sail into any torpedo salvos that they fire at you and potentially be able to sail in between each individual torpedo. Um, but unfortunately with this part that's not going to happen. You see he just fired two, four torpedoes at me and two of them hit. Um, so yeah, I managed, thankfully I had my uh, repair module right there, so I was able to stop the flooding that he caused. And now, this is where it actually gets pretty fun. It gets just like, it makes you scratch your head and be like, what the fuck? Because I am firing salvo after salvo of armor piercing into him, when I should be firing high explosive. And he just does something, I, I guess he was just, trying to figure hey you know what there's he's damaged enough i could probably take him with me so now watch this he fired once he fired two torpedoes missed and now he just comes charging straight at me and <laughs> nope kill denied <laughs> he just basically gave me a, a free kill um so, <laughs> that's just one of those, whoa, that was close. Um, <laughs> so now it's just me and that one enemy destroyer left. Um, so let, let's see how this goes. And ba I finally switched to high explosive by this point. I finally took my team's advice and started firing high explosive. And I just completely botched this. I mean, look, I should have had him. But nope, I completely screwed it up and boom. Uh, okay, so yeah, that was just a complete and total clusterfuck on my part. Um, but as, as you can see, that that's that's what happens when you don't uh, pay attention or you're not at the top of your game. So I now have to wear the cone of shame and walk around with that for the next couple days or so while I play World of Warships because that that is just one of those cringe-worthy, most cringe-worthy uh, moments playing this game that I have had um, since I ever started, since I started playing it. So that's it for today. Um, I'm probably going to make a couple more videos 
in the weeks to come. Um, and until then, I hope everybody uh, takes care, and I'll see you all later.